All right, guys. So today is not going to be about review. It's going to be about one of the parts or pieces of this problem, and I'm going to talk about this before you go out there to buy the OC White problem um, arm. Um, you need to. In fact, I have one here. I just ordered another one, and I have it. I believe you remember this box. That is box is for OC White. That's that's the package for the Ultima Pro Boom. And this is the generation two. This particular one will cost you around, I think, depending on where you're buying a ball, you'll be looking at maybe four to five hundred US dollars. But before you go out there to buy one for yourself, I think there are a couple of things I need to point out. So let's open this up. Alright folks, this is Gigi Kong. welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time on this channel and you like what we're doing here, please do subscribe. If you're already a subscriber, please share and like this video so that others can see it. And for your information, the information we're giving out here is to help you or save you the headache of gazing or a round of equipment you should buy. Do they really want your money or not? That is why we have channels like this to help you navigate those difficult routes or make it easy on you to figure out what is going on. So that being said, let me go into what I have to show you here. The purpose for today's video is not going to be a mere, it's not going to be a review, it's going to be criticism, okay? If you want to know the detail on this, how to adjust your mic, how to counterbalance this thing, I have full detail on my channel. Just go and search for the video type problem and uh, this the video will come out if you're using this product you are also frustrated about this one issue one problem for the price of this product these plastic are kind of flimsy for my liking number one they are very flimsy they are not durable plastic it's going to be very easy to break for some reason they go with this and to me this is very cheap let me put it out with that this is cheaply made this plastic I was very disappointed about the plastic that they use. Every other thing is nice. This thing looks like a cast iron. They are durable. Every duty metal that they use here, I really like that. But they mess it up with this cheap plastic. And not just because this is cheap or mess things up, they don't stay in place when you're using them. You see, almost every buyer that bought this Pro Boom Arm one way or the other I have to tape this thing down and i'm very sure that this company is aware of this and i don't know what they are doing to address it it's very very annoying and that is the main reason why i'm making this video you see as a company when you have product in the market if there's any flaw in that product the normal thing for you to do is to fix that problem but in the case of this company also white I think they believe it's better to ignore than to fix it. That you have to tape it down with Velcro or tape or so. It kind of disregard it anytime I see it. People that are doing podcasts, this is kind of annoying. Honestly speaking, it's kind of annoying. So that's what I want to point out here. And I'm using this opportunity to tell OC White, please make a replacement part of this because I have a lot of people that I ask them to like to invest their money because this is not cheap. This is a lot of money. And I ask them to invest their money in this. They did, but when I walk into their podcast room or whatever they're doing, when I see Velcro that they do Velcro this down, it make me feel like did I do I recommend them the best product or what? And I'm please, please also white, I'm begging you guys, if there's something you could do about this thing. Please make a replacement part of this. Make it a better plastic and the one that will really snug in without popping out. That I will appreciate. You don't have to give this to us free of charge. Make another one and sell it. We will buy it. I just want something that will stay in place and not popping out. Please, I'm begging you, okay? And don't make it glossy, for God's sake. It shouldn't be glossy. Make it matte black. I think if you go back to my video and look at the first review, that will show you the years I have been using this product. 
I do not complain about their durability. I like their, you know, the, the effortless that is give you to position your microphone. That that is that is top notch. But this cheap thing is annoying. And I expect OC White to fix it. So guys, that's gonna be it on this one. I just wanna point out the flaws that have been bothering me about this product since I did the first review. And like I said, this is another new one that I just bought with my money. And this time it's expensive. This is close to 500 US dollars because of this. So it's a lot of money to buy this. This is like investing a lot of money on a microphone arm. And when it arrives, it's gonna come with this cheap plastic. That's not cool, OC White. Please do something about this. Please help us with a better cover that is not glossy and that is durable and that will not pop in out when, during, the, during the time of use. All right? We will really appreciate that. So that being said, guys, that's going to be my time on this one. If you enjoyed the video, please do share it. If you get any value and you are yet to be a subscriber, please do subscribe. And that's going to be it for me on this one. Until next time, guys, stay blessed. Bye-bye.